You're live on Lunch Break Live. Hi, we're making kale chips today. So come on over, let's show you how we do it. We don't need any knives, we have our hands, right? So we're just ripping this up and putting it in the pan. Totally easy. And that is kale. Yes, this is for the kale chips that we're making. We're gonna drizzle them with truffle oil. I actually put a little bit too much in here, so I'm gonna take a little out. It happens, you know what? You just take things out. Uh, there's no rules here, except don't hurt yourself. And other than that, do the best you can. And we're making kale chips because I didn't like kale and I made this up to make myself like kale. And I think this will make you a kale lover too if you're a kale hater, so. Watch out, haters. We're going to turn a lover out of you. And I understand you use the stems as well. Yes, the stems are the best part. Let's see. Put them in the pan. Well, so we have our stems that we destem the kale. You just swoop and you put the stems in here and you just wait for it to get little brown marks on it and it gets really beautiful and you know when the vegetables in the oven start to get all roasty? You kind of get that sense here, and it's just so good with the truffle oil. For some reason, the strong flavors really stand up to each other. It is so, so good. So I hope you guys give this a try. It's so easy, there's barely any cleanup. I'm dry sauteing. There's nothing in this pan. It's gonna be so easy to clean. You drizzle the oil on at the end just for a little flavor. So it's so, so easy to do. You really have no excuse not to do this. If you have leftover kale in your fridge, you, you have to try this. All you need is some truffle oil. Well, you, let's see the truffle oil because um, this is always considered a very like exclusive product, right? So this is from Sir La Tab. I mm -hmm. didn't, um, the brand I usually love to use, uh, this is a new brand basically. I've never tried this before, but What's we're gonna it try it. It's called Tartuffi mm. Black Truffle Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Wow. So it's infused with truffles. Ooh. I also just bought, I really like truffles. I also just bought something that's on Oprah's favorite things list this year because if she loves it, if it's good enough for Oprah, it's good enough for me. And, and you said she has her assistants walking around with this product behind her so that she can pull Allegedly, I read that in an article, but she did say in Let's her see. own article, she says she carries this in her purse and brings it to restaurants with her. Oh, wow. So we're gonna put some of this on there today. Oh, wow. So now you have no oil here. You've literally just ripped up some kale Yep. And put it on this stove. Let's see what the flame is like. Okay, sort of like Pretty a medium high, high flame. flame. And then you also have this, which is absolutely fantastic. Tell me about this. And by the way, as we get headed into Thanksgiving, which we call Thanksgiving, because we don't kill any animals to celebrate, um, this is these are some things that you can whip up. Totally. I think your guests will love this, or even if you are a guest and want to bring something vegan, maybe you don't want to cook, you just bring these things and put them on a plate. It's really that easy. So what I have here is my favorite combination right now, which is the Miyoko's Double Cream Chive with this these raisin, rosemary, and pumpkin seed crackers. So this combination is creamy, it's crunchy, you got the chewy from the raisins, you got the herbal with the chive and the rosemary. It's so delicious. You have to try this combination. I'm and, so excited for you to try this. And June. this is double cream chive, and of course it is vegan, non-dairy, organic, and non-GMO. If you haven't checked out Miyoko's, her, her vegan cheeses are superb. They are award-winning, extraordinary cheeses. Oh, they're fantastic. Yes, they are the best. And if you come over here, I'll show you what's happening with the kale. I'm not getting oh. too close to the stove. <laughs> That's right. So if you look at the kale, I'll bring it to you. It's starting to get some brown spots. So mm. it's crunchy on this side. You can maybe hear that kind of crunch. And I'm just going to flip it. So I usually start off with my hands and then I move to a fork. So this is probably not the most sophisticated way to do this. But this is real, you guys. This is like real cooking in my kitchen where I get down and dirty with my hands. Not really dirty, but mm -hmm. I just use my hands for things because that's what I have them for. Very clean. How long yes. have you been vegan? I've been vegan for seven years now. And? And I love it. It's the best thing that's that I've ever done in my life. Um, I got rid of my asthma. And when I first went vegan, I didn't like kale. I'd, I'd heard about this vegetable that's like trending and I didn't like kale. 
and I just thought to myself, how could I make myself like it? I saw this as sort of a challenge. So I thought, okay, I bet I'd like it if it had some truffle oil on it. So that's what I did. I created this. I didn't want to have a mess. This is totally easy cleanup in the pan. Don't hurt yourself. Don't burn yourself. I do a combination of my hands and a fork. That's mm. what's easy to me. And you'll probably notice these are probably starting to get mm. some brown spots on them. If you can... What See I there. love about it is there's no waste. You know, uh, Americans throw out 40% of their food. Wow. And there's people uh, at any one time, we have 7.5 billion people on this planet, at any one time, 1 billion people are going hungry. Wow. So a lot of recipes call for you to discard the kale stems. This would probably be good with if you just wanted to use the kale stems. I think this would be really good in mashed potatoes. Mm. Have that kind of like truffle, veggie kale on it be really really good. Will Tucker says hi Jessica. Hi Will. Thanks for tuning in. All right and Kali, I hope I, Shalia, Shali, I like your name but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Idlewise. Love you Jane. Thank you. Well love you right back and we love this movement that we're you know involved in here where we're really talking about just compassionate choices right? Yeah it's a lot of people well it's important to be compassionate to the animals because they are amazing beings like we, we love all our dogs and it's also important for the planet and for our health but you really don't have to give up anything and what I try to do on my sort of social media is show people that you don't have to give up whatever kind of life you want to create you can actually just have your life be even better than it was because you'll be eating the most delicious food you'll be feeling your best and you'll be knowing that you're doing something good for the world so vegan veganism is not giving up anything it's just getting creative with different foods you haven't tried before it's feeling your best and it's doing something good in the world so I hope you guys can all oh. see my love for vegan cooking um, I work Megan, I have to say this Megan Forte says hey Jane I'm a new vegan because of you and your oh, wonderful info. Thank you. That's amazing. Well, it's a team effort, and all the people who are involved are, I can't take credit for it, uh, every every chef and our entire Jane and Shane team is involved with helping people, you know, see another way. And obviously this is really healthy. We've talked about uh, kale having more uh, protein calorie per calorie than steak. So that's one thing that we want to point out. And this is, if you don't like kale, this is a really, really easy way to make yourself like kale mm -hmm. um, because truffle oil is so delicious or truffle seasoning. You don't have to use oil if you don't want to. Use some salt on it. Um, or nutritional yeast. Or nutritional yeast, but this is just another method. You know, take from this what you want and, and make it work for you. But this is, you don't have to preheat your oven. This is just heat up the pan and go. It doesn't really get... Uh, simpler than that. Uh, it's probably the simplest recipe we've had. Yeah, I was worried about having enough footage for you today. Because oh, we've got <laughs> That plenty. was my biggest concern. No, because you know what? Uh, look, uh, kale is so good for you. It's a superfood. It's not just packed with protein, but mm -hmm. nutrients. And, you know, obviously, it's pretty much zero calories. I mean, the amount of calories in that whole big thing. You probably couldn't take a bite of bread for the amount of calories in that whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it's super good for you. And it tastes good. Yeah. So now, when you first made the, made the transition to going vegan, Jessica, were you worried that you wouldn't have, you know, fun or whatever to eat? Not at all. I worked in two cooking schools starting when I was 16. So I actually taught people how to cook starting from when I was a teenager. So what I did, and maybe this will help you, was I used to eat, uh, my meals were a, uh, like a meat, a grain, and a veggie or a salad, and when I went vegan, all I did was replace the meat with an extra portion of, of veggies or grains, or an extra, or a different um, veggie or grain, and I thought that was the simplest thing. So I know a lot of people have a hard time transitioning to veganism, but I thought that was a really simple way to uh, to change, so I hope that helps. I love it, and now when you have all these cheeses like Miyoko, which is completely non-dairy, and it's so delicious. Uh, and there's so many of them. There's Miyoko's, there's also Daya, Follow Your Heart, and um, And you can make amazing on cheese sauces on your own, too, with nutritional yeast and onions and carrots or potatoes. There's, I, I don't miss cheese at all because I have Miyoko's, really. I just love her cheese. So. All right, well, listen, I'll tell you what. Let's drizzle and I'll, 
I'll try it. Okay. Can you drizzle over here? Of course. Um, that would be fabulous. Thank you. There we go. Look at that. Mm, Victoria Stevens joined. Hi, Victoria. So we're just going to drizzle a little bit of this truffle oil. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's gorgeous. On the stems as well. Yeah. Mm. And then what about the Oprah product? I love the idea that you ordered something that you saw <laughs> on Oprah. Yeah, well, she loves truffles so much. And, and she has assistants walking around carrying this. That's hilarious. Yeah, so. Mm. You can smell it already, huh? Look at that. The aroma is just delicious. I just love it. Yes. And, and now, now what's this? This is pink Himalayan salt. Mm. So, oops, Whoops. that's way too much. Yeah. Here. A little dab will do get a, get a long shot of me? <laughs> Just a tiny little bit. Okay. All right. There we go. Wow, that is fabulous. All right. So it's time for the taste test. Okay. I can't wait. My hands are clean. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's so funny. Well, I find it hysterical. People are so concerned about people cooking with their hands. And, you know, I go and I try to use a reusable cup when I'm at the airport. And they say, no, you can't use that because of our rules. I said, you know what? It's actually the plastic that you're using that's destroying the world and creating the problems, not anybody's hands. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I've been to cooking classes before where people really scrape everything out of like a dish using their hands because it's really, it gets a lot more of the, uh, the food out than using like a spoon or something. So yeah. um, it's just another tool to have. Just keep your hands clean. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to ask you to hold the camera and I'm okay. going to do the taste test. I'm me, very excited. Let me wash there my hands. There we are. We've got, again, I think this is fabulous. Oprah inspired this edition here. Can I make you Sabatino. a cheesy cracker? Um, let's start with this. Okay. Uh, because I am very curious about uh, trying this and there's the truffle oil and there's the kale you saw how easy it is so come around okay Ta -da! here Yay. I am this is my favorite part Woo! I get to taste test and I know what that you think and I kale use my hands too it's so good for you mm -hmm. yes mm. Mm. oh my god this is delicious. I'm glad you like it. Can't go wrong with truffles. It's delicious. Yogurt. You know, let's put it this way. All the fun of a potato chip without any of the guilt and the horror of stepping on the scale afterwards and saying, oh my God, I ate a bag of potato chips, mm -hmm. which I have done. But mm, these are crunchy. They're filled with flavor. The truffle oil is extraordinary. Oprah, I know why you have your assistants walking around with that truffle powder. Mmm. <laughs> Try these stems, Jane. Mmm. Oh my God, the stems. Mmm. 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 I love this. Thanks, Jane. It doesn't get easier, does it? What? It doesn't get much easier, does it? No, I mean this is easy. I could do this. I just absolutely, it's a taste sensation. I don't know how to describe it. It's delicious. Mm. People say umami. You know that word umami? Mm -mm. Means like, there's like bitter, mm. sweet, and then umami on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Jessica, I'm gonna take the camera back to you as you say your goodbyes. Okay. You, want you are a genius. Why don't we just, why don't we just okay. keep it with there because that's so pretty. Okay. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. And it's I mean, you could have one. Why don't you have a cheese and cracker? Okay. Sure. And again, this is cheese without the cow. It's still cheese. You don't, you know, people say, a lot of people say, I could never give up. I could never go plant-based because I couldn't give up cheese. You don't have to give up cheese. You just have plant-based cheese. <laughs> That's my, I like a food dance. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> Jessica Steinberg rocks the house! Woo!